Greetings, Earth caring friends, and welcome to Golden Age Technology. We are set to visit the beautiful city of Adelaide, Australia, on this episode to learn about a special bus called Tindo. Buses that are run entirely on electricity are currently in operation in cities in the United States, Asia, and Europe. But Tindo is the first bus in the world running exclusively by way of solar power. This eco friendly bus plugs in at the Adelaide Central Bus Station. The facility's roof is covered with a solar photovoltaic system capable of generating 70 megawatts of electricity per year. The system charges Tindo's batteries daily and keeps it running smoothly on the city's streets. Adelaide's air-conditioned Tindo bus was designed by a company from New Zealand called Design Line International, which has been producing hybrid buses since 1999. Today, their buses can be found worldwide in such places as Japan, New Zealand, England and Hong Kong. As climate change is the number one pressing issue for our planet, green public transportation systems are one of the ways to help mitigate global warming. For sure, public support for sustainable energy is growing and governments at all levels are looking for ways to introduce pollution-free vehicles onto their streets. Buses are an obvious choice for eco-friendly transport and companies around the world are busy testing, manufacturing and supplying hybrid and electric buses for cities just like Adelaide. With no greenhouse gas emissions, Tindo is a breath of fresh air for the environment. Tindo is terrific for passengers also as it is free to ride. This vehicle can accommodate up to 40 riders at a time. Our Supreme Master Television correspondent spoke with Mr. Stephen Yarwood, the Deputy Lord Mayor of Adelaide, and some of Tindo's passengers to find out more about this unique form of green public transport. Let's start with Deputy Lord Mayor Yarwood. Can you explain to us how Adelaide City Council start this project? Well, this has been a long-term vision of the City of Adelaide. It started seven years ago and we worked to find an electric bus that we could provide for commuter transport in the city. Uh, we searched far and wide and purchased this from New Zealand and it was commissioned uh, about a year ago in November 2007. Has it been um, very successful in the council point of view? It's been very popular. We did some strategic planning consultation to talk about what the community wanted in Adelaide and the number one thing that the community said they wanted is a fleet of solar buses. So of all the hundreds of things that the community could ask for, the solar bus and an electric bus was the highest of all the priorities. I've heard you had to put initial investment into the solar panels and also Tindo. It was an expensive project. The bus itself cost over a million dollars and the solar panels were very expensive. But the federal government came to help us. They provided a lot of money for the solar panels through the Solar Cities project. But also the fact that it's an iconic statement and a flagship for Adelaide City Council's investment in the future and climate change and electric vehicles is also a very important component. Using 11 Zebra battery modules for energy storage, the bus is capable of travelling up to 200 kilometres between charges. The Swiss-made batteries make use of advanced technology and have the following benefits. They are lightweight, have high energy and power density, feature long life and reliability, are not affected by external temperatures and can be stored indefinitely when fully charged. In addition, the Vehicle Management System or VMS installed in Tindo monitors all the equipment on board. It processes the driver's operational requests and makes sure that all the equipment is working within the desired parameters. I read on your website that the maintenance of this world first solo electric 
bus is minimal. Electric engines are actually low maintenance with a lot less moving parts, so absolutely uh, very easy to look after. Uh, the technology is new, especially with the batteries, so uh, there are always going to be teething problems with the world first, uh, but yes, uh, it is very quiet and very efficient and very easy to maintain. So the uh, Adelaide City Council is contemplating another project like this? Absolutely. I'm very keen to get free commuter transport throughout the city to connect all of our major features, including the aquatic centre, some of our public art, our open spaces, our shopping centres, uh, the train station, a range of services. The long-term vision is to have a fleet of solar buses throughout the city. We've also recently purchased some electric bicycles and we're experimenting with those for our parking inspectors to get around the city as well. So um, over time, with money, there is no question we'd love to have a fleet of solar buses throughout the city of Adelaide. I passed by some solar panel um, street lights in the main street in Adelaide. Is that part of the city's uh, Go Solo initiative? Indeed, we have a tremendous range of sunlight here in Adelaide. As you can see, it's a beautiful day outside. So we, we're very keen to tap that for long-term sustainable energy supply. We have solar panels for the bus. We're investigating some solar panels with the assistance of the federal government for our new Rundle Lantern art display. Uh, and also we have solar panels uh, for our lighting and solar panels for an art uh, display down by the River Torrens. Uh, certainly a big part of our long-term plan to provide sustainable energy. When we return, we will continue to learn about Tindo and speak with some of its passengers. You're watching Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. Please stay with us. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology. Let's learn more about Tindo, the solar-powered bus, an eco-conscious, free public service running in the city of Adelaide. Adelaide is a lovely city located in the south of Australia. Residents here greatly value the concept of sustainable living. Providing environmentally friendly services to the locals is of key importance to the City Council. Let's explore a bit more about the City and Tindo from Adelaide's Deputy Lord Mayor, Stephen Yarwood. So, while we're here with you and on Tindo, um, can you tell the viewers a, a bit about your city? I'm very proud of the City of Adelaide having spent a lot of my life studying, working and living here, uh, is now a part of national heritage for uh, Australia. Uh, a beautiful grid pattern. It was settled in 1836 uh, as a modern social experiment as a company from England. And as such, we've got beautiful heritage buildings. In fact, we're in North Adelaide right now and there are beautiful heritage buildings everywhere, wide streets, large parklands that surround the city. And it's a very livable, very pedestrian uh, access uh, city, very easy to get around uh, and lovely people and everyone knows everyone. Perhaps the best part of Adelaide is the very centre where we have a world class Adelaide Central Market that sells fantastic f fruit and vegetables and produce from around the world and also food that is prepared here locally in South Australia. So tell us what does Tindo mean? Our local Aboriginal community is called the Ghana community and Tindo in Ghana means solar or sun so we named Tindo after the sun for the local indigenous community here in South Australia, Adelaide. Thank you very much um, for today and for your time to explain about Tindo project and also um, show us Adelaide. Great, thank you very much for showcasing Tindo.
Kinder has been in service for the city of Adelaide for about one year now. Let's hear some comments from its passengers. My name's David Heath. Uh, hello, David. Um, do you use this bus very often? Yes, most mornings and most afternoons to get home. I use it to travel to and from work. And it's a, it's a fantastic service that the Adelaide City Council provides for free for the, the city and the North Adelaide community. So how do you like it? It's in those very comfortable. It was specifically designed uh, by uh, the council and the company that built it to service this particular route. It suits, it suits the sort of uh, inner suburban uh, service that it provides. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Hello, my name's Tara and I catch Tindo quite often. Um, it's a really good service. It's a free bus that goes all around Adelaide and it stops at each stop every hour. It goes right by my house. So I catch Tindo to uni. Um, it's a really pretty green bus that reminds me of a grasshopper and it's environmentally friendly so I really enjoy catching Tindo. So how do you um, know about Tindo? Um, we've seen it advertised and so we thought we'd yeah, try it. Better than walking for us. <laughs> yes. So is this the first time you're using it? Yes, the first time. How do you like this bus? It's good. It's free as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's a solo and electric powered bus? No. No, we didn't know. No, not at all. But it sounds quiet, so I think it must be something like sincerely thank the Deputy Lord Mayor of Adelaide, Mr Stephen Yarwood, for introducing Tindo to Supreme Master Television global viewers. Our thanks to Tindo's writers as well for giving us your first-hand impressions of this earth-friendly service. May the use of green public transport and measures such as the adoption of a vegan diet be implemented throughout the world to curb carbon emissions and halt climate change. Thank you for joining us on Golden Age Technology here on Supreme Master Television. Please stay with us for Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living, right after Noteworthy News. We'll see you next time.